Hey everyone, my name is Justin, thanks for visiting my channel. In this video series, I want to highlight what I think are some of the most interesting new features and enhancements to ServiceNow in their latest release called San Diego coming this March of 2022. You already saw the thumbnail when you clicked on this video, so let's dive right into some San Diego goodness. In this short video, we're going to talk about the new project workspace. And by proxy, we're actually going to explore the new planning console. Yes, you heard me. Hold back your thunderous applause. The planning console has got a refresh. It's got a new modern look and feel in keeping with our new user experience and service now. Probably bigger news though that I'll share with you right up front, it's no longer IT business management. They've changed the name, ServiceNow has changed the name to Strategic Portfolio Management or SPM. So we're losing the IT business moniker, we're letting everybody use project management now, it's not just about IT. So let's dive right in and take a look at what that new project workspace looks like. You can find it from the all menu right here. Uh, if you want to make a favorite, you can set a favorite. I'm going to show you a different way to make a favorite here in a second. When you go to the project workspace, it's gonna take you to the classic one, even though the classic one that you see here looks just a little bit different. Um, that's because of the new UI, the new user experience. If we wanna to go to the new project workspace, there's a button up here in the upper right. Click in there and we're gonna go into that new workspace experience within ServiceNow. I don't have any projects, so I'll go ahead and click on all projects and we get another card-like view of all the different projects that we might wanna interact with. Now you as a project manager, you can kind of filter those to see what you wanna see here. And oh, by the way, there's that way to favorite this particular workspace and come back to it without having to go through the classic workspace. Let's open up a project so you can see what it looks like. This is the new planning console. This is what it looks like. A little bit different, obviously look and feel change a little bit, colors, more modern, stuff like that. But let me show you a couple new things. One is drag and drop. So I can actually pick up a task, a milestone, something like that, and drag and drop it on the interface and it'll change it. I can come in and personalize what things actually show there. So I can turn on additional things. I can reset it to the default. I can change how the timeline or the Gantt chart is working over there on the right. And another new feature in here is bulk edit. So if I wanted to change, let's say, let's open up a list of tasks here in the executing phase. I've got nine different things there. Maybe I wanna change the duration on these four. I can shift click, right click, and edit the cells and change all four of those at once to, let's say, three days do that. Now all have changed to three days for those particular tasks. That's new in the planning console. Something else that's happening in the upper right is we no longer have this save thing that we have to do. So it's actually happening automatically for me. It's syncing those changes up to the cloud so I don't have to worry about it. My Gantt chart over on the right also works similarly as it did before. So if I want to come in and maybe make a task longer or if I want to add a dependency, now this is new. So if I click, I could click and drag and create dependencies before in the old planning console. And that worked great. It goes ahead and populates the dependency column here. If I come in and actually edit this, so we'll edit the dependency here. Notice something else. I can start typing and I've got a new type ahead feature where it's suggesting other dependencies to link it to. So that's new. Other thing that's new is I can click on a dependency and it opens a little window for the dependency itself. So I can do right, that right there on the planning console. The other thing I can do that we've always been able to do is come in here and edit a task and swing out that window to actually go out of the task details. So all the stuff you'd expect there, just a little bit more modern looking with that little fly out and I can close that. Other things to point out, baselines you can still grab from here. You can change the settings, which I showed you just a minute ago. There's some contextual help now available. So I've got a legend for how things work. I've got some shortcuts that I can run through. Still got my critical path that I can display. I can add attachments. I can uh, look at activity and I can do different things like apply a template, move the project, import from Microsoft Project, export, et cetera, et cetera. And I skipped over the other stuff. If I come over here on the right hand side, I can edit, I can add tasks above, below, add child tasks, set milestones, delete the rows entirely, entirely. So we didn't lose any function in the new planning console, but we did gain some functionality. We gained a nice look and feel for it. So I hope this is as nice to you as I think it is, and uh, we'll see you on the next video. This is just one of many San Diego highlight feature videos I'm going to make. So if you liked it, please share it with a colleague. If you'd like to support me, please like, subscribe. If there's something you want to see that I didn't show and you want to get it on the list of things that we're going to cover on this channel, drop me a note in the comment. I'll definitely check all those. And other than that, we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for your time.